in the morning when you show up. Just uh, check all your scales and zero them out if you need to. In negative, you can just make sure there's nothing in them out there and just zero them out to get started by hitting zero. And uh, first thing they'll do is start your mixer. And we're not going to start it because there's guys out there working, but when you start your mixer, you know, just hit the start button. And it's a wide delta start, so it's going to take a little bit to uh, get running on it. Uh, delta phase, there's a timer. And uh, until that trips over, which is going to be 30 seconds or so, maybe a minute, whatever, you can't start your incline belt because your incline belt won't start until your mixer's running. And it has been running for, you know, probably a little less than a minute. And then after you start your incline belt, you can start your flat belt. And uh, you can't start your flat belt if this is not running. It's all figured out. And you can't even weigh up material unless the flat belt's running and the incline belt's running and the mixer's running. The gates won't work to weigh up material. But uh, get your belts running, your mixer on. Make sure you have air pressure. Um, also make sure that your mixer door is closed before you get going in the morning. And, uh, and you'll come up to your computer. And uh, let's just say I was... Uh, logged out and I'll log out here. Um, so in the morning if you were to turn this on, uh, close out all these windows here. Do a home screen, it would look like this. Click on the Rhino, double click. You get your password saved. So you just uh, go in here, hit enter, enter, which let, gets you in. And the first thing you're gonna do is a job order. And you'd enter in the customer. Uh, this has to be a pre-saved customer, right? So right now, if I click on customers, we only have, you know, like one customer here. But uh, let's go back into our, I'm gonna exit out of this. Customers, I'm gonna, we're gonna do one for weightal stabilization. So just start typing a W, that populates, weightal stabilization. And then uh, note that if it has a little red dot next to it, you have to have something in that, in that field. So just say the load's gonna be on the, 13th at you know 745 and it's going to be you know on site. Let's see. F. And hit save changes. Now it populates a list here of what I can do. We're going to pour a 4,000 mix and it's, it's going to start typing a 4. It populates up 4,000. Click on that. And then uh, yards, quantity. Uh, the job is going to be 30 yards. So I hit 30. And add it. And there it's there. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit. I'm going to click on my loads screen. And there that load is 513 and it's 745 in the morning, 30 yards. I'm going to grab, when I want to load this, I'll just grab the truck out of the parking lot, take it on top of the load. And this screen populates, you know, what you can, you can adjust your water here or add mixtures. Okay. So, uh, 10 yard load, I could also adjust my load quantity in here, right? Uh, well, let's just say that I'm happy with all of these numbers, uh, especially the water. Like if it rained last night, let's just say it rained last night, I wanna trim, you know, maybe uh, 10 pounds, or maybe, maybe 20 or 15 pounds uh, a yard. I'm gonna recalculate it. And then it takes my weighed water down um, from 241 pounds to 100 and 84 pounds, a total of 1,840 pounds. I'm happy with that. You can also just divide out, you know, how many pounds are in a gallon. If you want to convert it gallons, I click okay. So that truck's sitting there waiting to load the truck. Um, I would have to be sure that my, my mixer was on, my incline belts and flat belt were running. And to begin with, that your mixer door is closed. And also make sure your air compressor is on and you have good air pressure. Uh, you take that truck from waiting to loading and it says, hey, do you want to load this in 10 yards right now? And if I click yes, it's going to go ahead and start loading. I'm going to click no because I don't, I don't want to do that now. And uh, we'll go back to the screen behind us and the truck's sitting there waiting. If I just want to park him because we're not going to do it right now, I'm going to dream. Oh, I can't park it. I think I can take them and put them over the red X. Yep, that puts them back in the parking lot. Uh, you can stack trucks on a job. So there's 
you know, if I'm happy with that, I could do that. I can grab another truck and put them over the top of the job. Okay. And another truck, put them over the top of the job. Okay. And now I got, you know, all these trucks and I can, you know, load them and do whatever I need to do with them. I'm going to take all these back, put them in the parking lot. No. Um, you can add trucks uh, just by uh, going over here to trucks and drivers and create new and then you'd enter in the truck number driver you can add drivers by clicking here um, save changes and exit uh, and now the other thing customers you're gonna have to add customers so just click on customers don't worry about the ID it's automatically gonna populate just uh, type in a customer name contact any all information you can your credit charge COD terms need discounts save changes uh, when you, you have customers in when you have a job order you can just enter their name and it populates up the thing is mixed design right now we have we've been pouring this 4,000 psi air and trained um, to make a new mixed design um, all I would uh, need to do is, is, is click clear or new Let's see how I, and I, okay, then I'd start typing my mix code. So let's just say I was going to do a 4500. I type 4500, maybe I'm going to call it a PSI with air, A E for air and trained. Okay, and then I can have another name for it, which would be maybe like um, 4500 exterior. Max size this plant can batch. It's a two yard twin shaft, so it's two yards. Uh, slump, we're going to design it to four slump. Yield air factors here and train to 6.5% air. Uh, when I do that now, I hit save, it populates up this screen. And all I need to do now is select from the screen, and I can select, uh, select material sand. Let's put in 1300. Add. Let's do three quarter rock. Let's do 1723, I guess. Add uh, cement. Let's do uh, uh, 564. Let's do 604. And uh, now let's do uh, weighed water. And that's going to be in pounds. So 8, 16, 24. Let's go 20, 240 pounds yard and let's do uh, air add mixture at this is those to ounces per hundred weight so that's how many ounces of air and training add mixture per every hundred pounds of cement I'm gonna put 0.5 and then let's do water oops water reducer this is WRMR water reducer mid-range and let's do that at four ounces Per hundred weights, that's four ounces for every hundred pounds of cement. And add. And notice while I'm adding these things, is calculating my yield right here. My yield is 0.9913, uh, so just under a yard. And also my WC is my water to cement ratio. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to exit. Okay. So now it showed up down here, 4500 exterior. So now if I had a job order and you know, when I entered in a name. Uh, I could go ahead and uh, go to site, and I hit save changes. Now I could start typing that 45, and there's a the mix that we just did, okay? And at 10 yards, add item, save changes, exit. I'm going to exit out of this, and, and there's that job right there, that 4500 showed up here to load it. I just grabbed the truck, drag them over the top, and then load it. But I'm going to... I don't want either of these jobs, so I'm just going to get the finish flag. Yes, cancel job. The finish flag. Yes, cancel job. Go back to my batcher screen, and here we are.